Welcome back to the Obra Din. We managed in the last episode to actually figure out quite a few things. Um, we're having to use methods that I definitely didn't think of at the beginning. Uh, for one thing, it appears that this sketch gives us a little bit more information than I was originally anticipating. Uh, from here, we learned what his job was, um, so we could figure out who he was. And I'm wondering, because of that, if we can figure out some other things. For example, we've got the captain, the first mate, the second mate, they all have hats. Third mate is Martin. We identified that in Abigail's memory, I guess. That makes me think that this guy, who's got the l final hat, could be the fourth mate, who we didn't know just yet. Um, other things that I sort of noticed is that he's got, he's got a hat. No one else really has that one. So maybe that's something to identify him with. Uh, Gunna. Yeah, so it, it looks like the people who've got hats tend to be of an identifiable role. So, what role are we missing so far? The purser. And then these guys are... Not very distinguishable. So, the purser is definitely one option. I think we'll try to find the little shop thing before we do that. Um, so, the hats is one way. The other thing I wanted to do is, I don't think we've actually said who this is, but the way I checked uh, was by knowing that there's only three women aboard. That's definitely not Abigail. And he was killed by Emily Jackson. That makes this... Emily Jackson. There's only one more... Uh, woman aboard. Only one more. I. She's over there, uh, but she's a little bit too far for me to find her right now. So what I'm gonna do is run back into a different memory. I think Abigail's showed me them. So I'm going to run back to Abigail's memory, and then hopefully she'll be there, we'll be able to uh, put her down as well. Abigail... We can skip that. Um, here. Yeah, she was behind her. So, this must be the only other woman aboard. And that is Miss Jane Bird. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she escaped. Though I'm not sure where that boat was going. Um, I've got no way, or well, I've got no idea how to figure that out. Oh, I, I never really noticed this wave before. That's really cool. The uh, it's actually really surprising the amount of detail that you can get with just a like a single color. Uh, it's really impressive. Anyway, not important, I guess. We figured out the hat guys. Um, him, I'm still struggling with, though I think we'll we'll leave that alone for now.
Now, we know, or we guessed this guy's name. He's the one who dies in the chair, but I haven't said how he dies, just because it's kind of difficult to, um, to see. His arm's getting crushed here. So I'm wondering if maybe that's the injury that he sustains. Crushed by the beast? We'll leave it at that. Um... Cool. Now, what I'd like to do is see if there's anything else identifiable from the sketch. So we... Uh, not that. We figured out... Potentially, that all the first mate, second mate, third mate, they've got the hats. So is anyone else wearing identifiable clothing? Uh, we've got the carpenter, he's wearing his apron. And I know the carpenter had a mate. Carpenter's mate. It doesn't necessarily look like he's wearing anything specific. Let's see if we can find another one of the... Surgeon. That's at least who we've said the surgeon is. Um... This guy who's standing next to him has a collar and a tie. Has anyone else got a collar and a tie? This guy does. Who's he next to? Oh, I, I, I want to say he's the actual fourth mate, not the fourth mate steward. Oh, but we've got him already. Um. Let's do that again, actually. So this guy... Where did he die? He was clubbed. So I don't actually think that's his name. Let's look at the gin. So, second mate, first mate, third mate. Is there a four? They must be. Fourth mate, John Davies. Oh, okay. This is... This is locked in. So what's he doing? This is him. Oh. Well that sort of ruined uh <laughs> that's ruined that theory. Um So what else have we got here? The midshipmen are potentially wearing the, that that tie. So here we should have a midshipman as well. And if we go here, there's only one who we don't know yet.
Ah, uh, we don't know how he died yet. We'll just we'll just say unknown. Unless we know how they died, I don't necessarily want to be guessing names too much. Just because it'll make it difficult to know if that's actually correct or not. Whereas if we know how they died, uh, then we, we get it checked every three people or whatever. This one is correct. Seaman. Hmm. Okay, well that makes it a little bit harder. A little bit harder. I can't seem to see exactly any any clothing that's necessarily making them distinguishable so he's got a he has an apron on are there any jobs that might need an apron the surgeon's mate, potentially. Uh, have we got the surgeon correct? I don't think we know how he died. This is a potential. That's not been checked for us, so... Could be wrong. Do we see where he died? Perished in Soldiers of the Sea. I think let's get rid of the names for now. Uh, I want to find the purser. So what I am going to do now is just head down... I'll find the shop thing where they keep the goods and then see if I can find a corpse nearby that has a memory with it open. Uh, and that might be a good way because that's how we figured out who the carpenters were. Okay, I will get back to you when I find that place. Okay, we found the door. It is this one. If we look in here, we see uh, weapons, and we see a couple storage units, or stuff that the ship people will need, I guess. So if we look in here, the purser, administrative official, accounts for all cargo, value, and trade transactions, manages a small item store for crew. So I think if we find a memory, where there's someone working in there, or um, maybe giving stuff out, then we could make a guess that that would be the person. Uh, this memory is not too useful for that. Unless we see anyone... Who looks like they're trying to control stuff. That's definitely not him. That's the artist. These are the carpenters. Okay, no. Uh, maybe we should go into this one. We've got an unknown there. I know in there. Give him tea and I can prize a solid meal, boys. <laughs> this is a midshipman. One sec, gentlemen. Unknown. I don't really see anyone who's trying to manage anything. Um, so potentially this isn't the memory we want. Let's leave. Try find a different one. Ah, uh, 
but the room is back here. Don't know who that is. And we've got this guy. He's wearing a hat, that's a good sign. Damn. Damn. Not great. Not great for us. I was really hoping that whoever this was um, would be the purser. I don't think it's him. Hmm. I'm not sure how else to find him. Oh, this is tough. Uh, this poor guy, we know what happened. I've said he was shot, though. Potentially, if we say he was spiked, it will, uh... It'll help us. Okay. Well, that hasn't worked, unfortunately. I'm going to try... Think of... A different way to come up with some names. Um, it's difficult to see what... what clothing they're wearing just because it's uh, a lot of it looks really similar. Um, so we're probably gonna have to come up with a different a different way to tell. Okay, I'm gonna have a think. And I'll let you know what I come up with. We've made our way back to Syed's memory. Um, and the reason I came here is because I wanted to check a few things. I didn't know if we'd maybe missed anyone who was just in the bunks. Um... Now, I've noticed that there's these numbers here. Now, we know who this is. This is Renfred. Renfred. So, he's in number 51. I've not checked this yet. It's just a, a hunch. If I go down to 51, then we've got Renfred. Oh, okay. So that's how we would have been able to... That's how we would have been able to know which one was which and not just swap them around like I did. However... Maybe that's useful for some of the other people. Um... So if we look here, we've got 45, 47, maybe the other one's 46. We know one of these. Yeah, we know Leonid. Drowned by enemy. Let's swap these two. Just because... We know one of them. So let's swap this one. Let's make him Aleski and him Right, that didn't help too much there. <coughs> Sorry. That didn't help too much there. Um, can we see anyone else in the bunks? 36. This is going to be really annoying now. Because... Onid is in 36. But I can't... I can't see him. So I can't put that as his name.
Oh, I can... It's teasing me. Is there anything around here that shows me which one he is? Um... Here we've got 37. Oh! This is the guy with the tattoo. Thirty-seven. Timothy. Timothy. Has a tattoo on his arm. Do we know how he died? Well, I, I guess we'll have to try and find him in the world to know that. Um. Anyone else? Anyone else? I don't think so. Damn, okay, that's another lead that's not exactly gone the way I wanted. Um, at least I figured out how to do they those guys properly and not the, uh, not the guess way I did. Um, I guess we can try find someone with a tattoo on their arm. Have a look. Uh, we know them too, so it's not going to be one of them. These guys we know. No one's back there. No one's there. Okay, I'm going to go on a hunt. A hunt for a man with a tattoo on his arm. And no matter how long it takes me, we will find Timothy. Because that's the, the best chance I've got right now to figure out some of these names. I have not found a, another arm with a lady tattoo. Where I have ended up is up here. Uh, because, well, I was just searching forearms basically and I, I can't find any. Uh, what I realized is that we've got Leonid up here. Now, Leonid's job was as a top man. Top man, as you can see there. Um, we have... Now, I've not checked this yet. One, two... Three, four, five. Five guys up here. Six guys up here. I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six guys. And if we look at our crew list... One, two, three, four, five, six. More than six. More than six. Okay, so we've got one of them at least. Um, the only other person I can see who has tattoos is him. So... Could, could that be Tattoo Guy? I've said who's Busan's mate, I think because he's French. Um, but if we look at all the other people with a higher rank, they, they tend to have identifiable clothing. Now he's got identifiable tattoos, but maybe, maybe I'm misinterpreting that and he could be this guy. Uh, that, would, that would sort of make more sense since he's up here. Um, now this dude is one of these four. We start with that. 
I guess he's gonna be another one of the four. And here we have a third. Uh, not him. Another top man, we don't know his name, maybe? Um, could be him. I think what I'm going to try to do is swap some names around because we know we know what all of these guys jobs are. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. He looks like he's fallen. Okay, so that must be wrong. Maybe he's... Omid. And it looks like he's fallen. That's what I would guess there. Um... Okay, I'm glad we spotted him. I think what I'm going to do is swap some names around, and if it works, I uh, will come back. If it takes forever and I'm getting nowhere, then I'll have to think of a new plan. But I have a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling. Okay. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Thinking emojis. Intense thinking emojis. Right, I was, uh... I was too busy being excited about actually getting them right and I didn't look at what we got there. Um, so let's go back. We got Lewis Walker. Um, I, I'm pretty sure he wasn't even one of the names that I was swapping around. So I think I just got quite lucky there. Um, I think if we look here it'll be easier. We got one of them. Oh, we got two of the Chinese top men. And Lewis Walker. Okay. I'm going to leave Omid. And I'm going to leave the Scottish one. If I happen to find someone with a tattoo on their arm, that I'm definitely not going to go looking for it especially, but I'll keep my eye out. If I find anyone with a tattoo on their arm, we'll know for certain that they're Timothy, but the only other person I can see with tattoos right now is um is that guy and it would make sense that he's a top man since he's up here what that does mean is that i've, I've got absolutely no idea who the busan mate is yeah so that makes this a little bit more difficult 
Okay. We figured out three. It was uh, it wasn't a pretty way of figuring out three, but we did it. I'll think of a couple places where there's maybe more information to be found, and when we come back from the next one, hopefully we'll fill in a few more names. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.